Well, once the Rolling Stone uh, article became public, there was not much doubt that General McChrystal would be relieved, would be fired. However, it was a surprise that uh, General David Petraeus was chosen to replace him. Um, but the choice of General Petraeus was a very shrewd move on the part of the administration. General Petraeus is very well known in Washington. He's very popular on both sides of the aisle among Republicans and Democrats. What President Obama has done is he's bought himself some time, some time to try to get the mission back on track, to try to minimize the very clear divisions within his administration that the Rolling Stone article pointed out. And I think the choice of General Petraeus will, to some extent, uh, minimize Afghan hurt feelings that uh, a man they had come to know and to respect was being replaced. By all rights, he should be able to slide into the role that General McChrystal had carved out and, and keep relations with the Afghans uh, on a fairly even keel. Although perhaps on paper it might look like a demotion, it really isn't. They've called for, you know, the cleaner, the doctor, the man who, you know, has to be called out. And if he pulls this off, then General Petraeus is going to have a unique role in history. He took over the Iraq war just as it looked like that war was about to be lost. He's taking over Afghanistan at a fairly similar situation. The coalition is waffling. Um, situation on the battlefield is not uh, going as well as had been expected and the allies are beginning to uh, fray. So all this change is at a key juncture. It's by no means certain that the war will be lost, but it's by no means certain that the war will be won either.